Some of the title. Hey, Courtney. You providing us with a doc today, or we need to set up our own? I'm going to provide you one. Um, I was doing attendance. I got to go back and set the doc. There's Eli. No, give me a second. I gotta do better. But yeah, Corey, I'm doing that. I was trying. All I know to for the sake, Todd. Look. Okay, what, sir? It's putting in work in my other class. Oh my goodness. Okay, what class is that? I can barely see that. Is that math? Oh, you can. You can see. My fault. You can't see. You got your own clipboard and everything. You see? <laughs> I see you, man. Okay. Nah, what this, class uh, is that? This, uh, geometry. Ah, messer. Okay, you're getting it done. Oh, proud of you. Okay. I had looked up. I said, "Ooh, I know Tyler gonna think I'm playing." Hold on. Uh-uh. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> said it about me. I, I was, you know me. I was just mark you late and follow up with you. But you hear? I don't like <laughs> that late stuff either. I'm trying to. I was on. Uh. Uh-uh. Yeah, that stuff hurts y'all attendance. I'm not being evil, but I talked to Banky and them, and yeah, they grade y'all on that too. Um, but let me do his attendance so I can. Um, uh, hold on, guys. I got to put the the chat on so you can. Uh, Courtney was already on it. I was looking like, okay, so it's going to be hard to do if I don't show them what to do. <laughs> they didn't come to class. Um, host controls. I got to turn on the chat for you, gentlemen. All right. Um, so put your emails in there. And um, as soon as I finish attendance, I will give you the link. We still got to do the norms. We make sure you get your points and stuff. And then you can, you know, work on it. Uh, well, we're not that late. It's uh, 3.30 we start, right? No, two, two thirty weeks, thirteen forty. Yeah, I mean, yeah, about <laughs> eight minutes or so. All right, let me get going um, on this attendance. This is like Mark Chaw oh, absent. Okay, and then thank you, Courtney. I saw that uh, Eli's here. Okay, all right. Did it save? Yes, it did. Okay. Now the next big thing is we're gonna take. Courtney's email address. And that's five points for giving it up. See, certain things y'all get points for, yeah, here, but she don't come, eh? Um, going to still do my job. Here we go. Okay, so Courtney, I hope you're in your um, email address. And um, Eli, I don't know. So is that the same one, Eli? Because if I type in just King Curtis, it shows up. So yeah, King. Yeah, it's the same one. Okay. It just it might show it. I don't know if it showed a different name because whenever we first started this, I had to change. That's where I was at. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. it shows a different name, and I yeah, I had to change it. my name so they could recognize me. Y'all gotta stop doing that. It makes it hard to help y'all. <laughs> like, who is this? The only thing I can see sometimes is the icon, your little profile picture. That might, you know, give me an idea. But y'all you know, change our profile sometimes. Those change too. Okay. So. um uh, again, same rules apply, gentlemen, um, and everybody um, who's watching the recording, you have to make your own copy. And I did a lot of work in advance. I kind of worked on this last night for you all. So if y'all don't show up, it's the, the class only get harder. Now, got this part here. Remove that. And all this jazz right here, I'm going to take it away. That's the problem you need to work on. There we are. And this is a bad image in the document when y'all get in there you, you will see but let's get to the norms try to log into the document because i did your attendance as the staff okay so all right i'm not going to ask questions um okay so now i'm over here oh come on there we go well, the computer froze on me or something. All right, so let's do it, um, you know, one at a time. Courtney, can you read the five basic norms and Eli, the academics after him? No one has the right to hurt another person. Education in the classroom are sacred. We will never behave in a way that will discredit ourselves, our school, or our family. And the Cell Academy of Southwest students always act with integrity. We take pride in the Cell Academy of Southwest. Thank you, sir. Eli? We respect the pains of others. We respect the culture of the classroom. 
We are to participate and participate. We have a expectation of ourselves, our peers, and our teachers. We are here to focus on preparing ourselves for post and secondary and average. Thank you, sir. All right, so um, GGI was earlier, right? Because I had to mention that. So if you went, you found out the good, it was a good conversation today. It was about mental health. So uh, find an outlet, try to focus on the work. That's why I try to. Mr. Huh? Tyler, who was running that GGI? Because I was trying to get in. At Borders. I think it was. I can't, Borders. They, well, nobody let me in. So I just like at like at 1140, no. I just said, forget it. No, I know. I know. I know. I, I think what happened was it wasn't your fault, Courtney. I think what happened was they had to log in again. And then another student contacted me and I let them know. So if I understand you got frustrated too, but uh, it, it wasn't, it wasn't your fault all the way. So just to say that. Right, I'm going to start contacting you. <laughs> it's too many of y'all doing that. All right. But uh, Dominic Colon, I got to do attendance. Uh, Garcia, I need you to put your email address in the chat so you can. Um, yeah. Get, okay. All right. So it seems like everybody likes this method. Or should we go back to me typing it up and y'all pay attention? Which one do y'all like so far? Oh, no comment. Okay. I, ain't gonna lie. I like I like the um the nice the nice Mr. Tyler. The niceness. The, the <laughs> online the online Tyler. Oh, the online Tyler. You don't like the in in class Tyler? Okay. No, I like that class. I'm just saying <laughs> work wise. You're saying work. We ain't talking about personal like um traits. Work wise. Okay. All right. Just trying to help y'all get across the finish line. The goal is not to fail you, it is to help you. But I can't give you the grade. You gotta earn it. Um, hold on. I see I see Courtney's in there. All right, now look, you guys cannot use my image. There's a simulation. I'll know if it's my image because I can do a revision history. And uh, you know, unlike other teachers, I used to be an engineer, so I can tell when you're copy and pasting something. Don't use my image in the document. Make your own copy of the document. But I'm going to show you a simulator you have to use to create that own snapshot on your screen. I want you to make it on your own because I made that document blurry on purpose. I want you to make your own very clear. Uh, I think Garcia added you just now. Uh, so uh, let's see here. Uh, Garcia, you didn't get no point shit. Can you read what's on the screen there? Yeah. Uh, wait, the same thing that every Tuesday, every Wednesday and Thursday, learn to code from the convenience of your home and get extra credit for some of your classes. The pandemic's effects on the coding job market. Why learn to code? Stop. The um, Surprisingly. Surprisingly, board benefits of coding interest interested? Mm -hmm. You did great, man. You did great. Thank you. So uh, look, uh, this is another opportunity. It's after school. I know you're like, okay, I, I'm done after 4 p.m., right? But if you just hang around for another hour after 4 p.m. and do these projects, what can happen is say you have a bad quiz grade. If you do Wednesday and Thursday, that's a, you know, kind of a get out of jail free card, as Eli would put it or something in the past. It, it basically gets you that grade back from the dead. So try to participate. You're learning different things in the industry that would let you uh, get access to jobs that are probably a hundred thousand dollars and up and you're all do you're doing this all from home right so take advantage of it uh and that miss lane and, and myself are the ones that are facilitating that yes um i'm waiting for the slides to change guy okay so uh let's go to court Ooh, i'm going too fast come up come up yeah it clicked on too much all right courtney can you read what's on the screen there to catch up with it it's that lag daily task students will be able to complete the evaluation of ESB. hello all aspiring stem students welcome to class inside of ESB can access all pre-recorded videos of each class these videos are normally ready to review by 4 p.m daily all right thank you sir and what i mean by that is by 4 p.m the video of today will be uh, visible in case you forget what you have to do that's why it's good if you do these you know come to class and uh, try to do some of it in class. You have too much to do at home. I know everybody has lives, but try to do as much of it in class. So let's get to uh, this part here. And I already heard from Courtney and Garcia. Eli, can you read the words and also the agenda? Classroom term relay is electric potential voltage 
wherever they had evoke. Um, welcome to welcome to the intro engineer with robotics agenda. Today's objective: student will be able to utilize conversation techniques for evaluating area and volume of various geometry shapes. Geometry shapes. Yep, I know. I can, yep, shapes. You, you're right. You're right. But I'm also incorrect because that's the wrong objective. So when we get it to the end, I'm gonna change it. It's about electricity today. Um, but yeah, I'll figure out and say, whoa, shapes. No, no, no. Conversions and stuff. We did that with the uh, warehouse calculation somewhere else. Um, I'm trying to wait for the screen to change. So, NSB is the actual assignment. I was on the phone calling. Like a lot of people just skipped a uh, third period. They're going to be in trouble. <laughs> uh, I'm not kidding. The robocalls are going out, and that's when they call home and let you know. Uh, I have a script where it says you you not if you hear it it's not that you you know game over, but uh, the script is going to basically say you have technically an F you might have to take the course again. It's a message that'll go out for those students that have low grades, as Ms. Vegas told me. So if you don't want to get that message, <laughs> please do your work. Um, the goal again is to you know get you to fix that before the quarter is over with. So uh, here's today's assignment. Um, you got to go to your fourth period class. And this is what's the lecture potential. I'm going to come to the document. Everybody should be in by now. Again, uh, hopefully nobody made any changes. Make your own copy first, right? All right, so let's scroll up and see if anybody didn't listen to me. I'm trying to work with y'all, but this is like not easy stuff to do at night. Like y'all probably be on Instagram, video gaming, and I'm sitting here doing the problem in advance. I know how to do it because I've been doing it for a decade. And I, I've been in engineering school where I had to do it like by memory. But uh, I'm, probably, brother, I'm trying to work on it. Yo, you still working on it, Courtney? Yeah, I'm doing 2A. Oh, dang. Okay, so you already got the document, huh? Okay. Does everybody got as far as Courtney's gotten? Like, uh, that's what I was going to explain. Great job, Courtney. You're getting the hang of the class, so this is helping you. <laughs> It looks like I think you like this method better. This is the wrong word, by the way, hey, guys. Yeah, I've been, yeah, I've been starting. I'm putting on my document now. Okay, all right. So make sure you put the correct word in here, and it's evoke. And you well, also my document uh, already set up. Oh, <laughs> Courtney, I already got my document set up. All right. So I don't have to explain everything to do. We don't have to do the exit slip. I just want you to use this time to work and getting it finished. We're gonna review the objective. I'm gonna correct it. And we can get some more points, but I can't let you leave early because you're here. I just marked you present, so that doesn't affect your attendance now. But uh, the sooner we get uh, the document done, meaning you get where Courtney is, everybody, we can go to the simulation part. And I can show you how to do that and have your image. Again, do not put my image in here. I'm just showing you what it should look like, but don't use this. I need you to recreate what I did on your own. And again, if you don't believe me, um, if I come here to version history, because students don't be believing when I say I can see everything you're doing. I can look at every change that's made by every student. So I can see when you copied something. Don't copy this to your new document because I can still see that in the other document. All right? So just make your own. Like I can see who changed evoke. That was me. And anything that's been done by any student. So just first make your own copy so you don't come up on this list. And then next, start working on problem 2A. I gave you all of the steps. You still, Courtney, I don't know if you did this already. I left out the answer. I don't know if you got it done or not, but for 1S, you still got to calculate that final answer if you could do it correctly. Yeah, I'm a okay, so take your time. Some students use Symbol Lab. We talked about that. Or uh, Math Pop Up. Those are two engineering tools you could use. Okay, and on your kits coming up next week, I'm going to be starting to show you, and I'm hoping Messer will help me out with this, how to use Wolfram Alpha Mathematica. That's an engineering tool as well, but it's on all of your kits. So some of these math problems are going to become really easy for you. So what, the uh, 2A we answer right here underneath the uh, underneath it? In the, in the dark? So you use the same steps to solve 2A. Okay. You know I'm saying, where do we put the answer? Just in, in the doc? Right. right. You put it in your new doc. Did you make a copy? Yeah, I made a copy. Right. From, uh... So right after 2A, you're going to be putting your steps that you think go there. But you got to use my notes from 1S and see how they change. All right. Okay. All right. So everybody I'm probably going to have to go back to that because. You said I what? I'm probably going to have to go back to that because I ain't really get, get that part. You didn't, you didn't look at that part? All right. So look at the notes. 
above. And my document's still there in case you missed something. But make your own copy and try to get 2A completed. Okay. All right. Okay, so 10 minutes, gentlemen, um, because we already were late. <laughs> and then we're going to see. All I need you to share out your document. If you don't do nothing else, and maybe 2A is hard, uh, at least do the exit slip, right? Get the definitions. And then on top of that, you know, get ready for the simulation. You have till 8 p.m. to figure out how to do 2A. I'm just trying to get you in-class points. Where's my clock at? Stop point. There it goes. I think I need about a third screen so I can keep up with everything. I need three screens in this apartment. Uh, there we go. I gave y'all everything y'all need to be successful. So let's see how, how well you do. I'm going to share out our screens in a moment.
Okay. Let's see here. All right. Uh, so let's see here. Eli, can you read the objective? I just corrected it. Uh oh, are you there? All right. Courtney, can you read the objective? Today's objective. Students will be able to analyze the connection between the electric field and the electric potential. Thank you, sir. So that's the objective you're supposed to have. We're going to read it twice more. I, is everybody ready to share out, or should I be giving you a couple more minutes to work on 2A? Like, is anybody done with 2A? Because I want to start the simulation next. You can raise your hand if you are. If you're not, uh, get ready to present the simulation. So there's a link in the assignment in ESV. And I'm going to have a student read it in a moment. But let me get this over here for you. All right. ESV. Waiting on that. There we go. Grab. Now we did these problems, and you can read the rest. Doesn't want to give you time to work on it. But in the chat is pretty much the information you need to start the assignment. That's the link to the simulator we're going to use. Uh, the simulator is going to visually show you uh, what you are doing in the problem itself. All right, so you click on the link, and you want to do that in advance because it's going to take a while to load to get to this screen. All right, and that's why I was telling you do not take a snapshot of that picture because we're doing voltage, and that's a capacitor. So if you took that snapshot, you already did something wrong because I'm showing you what you're going to take a picture of. All right. So let me do a check. Uh, Dominic, uh, do you have the link in the chat? And Eli, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, there you go. Yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah. Okay, everybody got the link? You might want to click on it now. It takes a moment to load. Okay. Open it up because I'm about to show you what you got to take a snapshot of to put in your document. So if you made a copy, there's a picture at the bottom. It's not the picture you're going to use. Delete that picture. You're going to use. It's the same. <laughs> I did this on purpose, so yeah, <laughs> would have to take the exact picture I'm taking. So you should click on the link and get to this part right here. Does everybody have this part? No. Uh -oh. Did we we lost Courtney? Oh Lord. All right, well, he had to review the video. Well, he might come back. It might be an internet issue. So here's what you got to do. One, you want to show the battery. And this is showing you the potentials of both voltage, right? Going back to our word of the day again. You know, what is that? In case you forgot. I'm going to see here. Eli, can you read what's on the screen there? As far as the word of the day and stuff. Class one corner day is electric potential voltage. Mm -hmm. Word of the day is evoke. Okay, Welcome okay. to intro to engineering with robotics agenda. Today's objective: students will be able to analyze the connection between the electric field and the electric potential. Very good, sir. So we showed the electric field, I think, yesterday. All right, those are those little arrows going from one plate to the next. If you're not sure I'm talking about, you can watch the video. But that was a simulation you made, right? We changed the plates, uh, actual surface area, how wide they are, and the distance apart from each plate. And you saw the little arrows coming between them. That was yesterday's simulation, which you should have turned in by now. Now we're looking at the actual voltage representation of potential. So let's come out of this. And going back to the simulator, you see this is pretty much a battery. On one end of the battery, you have these uh, charges, or Q as in a problem, 
and they're just waiting to be used. So you have a battery, and it's, you know if you're not using it, it's not plugged into anything, this is what's happening on the inside. And then right here, you have these little, I call them helpers, but this is actually what happens when it's plugged into a circuit, meaning you're using it for, I don't know what device you use batteries for, your remote control. Uh, inside of these cell phones, there's a battery uh, already embedded, but it works the same way as a simulation. So what you do is click on the show battery if you're on a simulator with me, and you'll see the actual battery representation. All right. You, you guys are really electrical engineers, but the specialty is robotics because you're working on a lot of equipment that's going to use the kit and its sense hat and even stuff that astronauts, physicists, and many people do. These are applied sides of what you're going to do to get paid for. So if you do this, you want to make sure you bring your desired voltage up and then you'll start to see, remember I told you those helpers grab those charges. This is the electric potential. The potential are the helpers. So while they're doing that, and they're going to go back and forth until the battery is depleted, meaning it has no more charges on one side. But the potentials, these little guys that are color coded, they're going back and forth and they're carrying those charges from one end of the battery to the next, from positive to negative. All right. <clears throat> so that was one exchange. All right, they did that, and you see it's more potential or more charges over here, and the potentials come back in, in phase. This keeps the battery going for the remote control or whatever you're using for a while until, if you look here, most of these charges are gone. So let's increase the battery voltage a little more, and you'll see they're going to grab some more. It's going to run out eventually. Now, at this point, I want you to get a snapshot I'm going to wait for it, like mines, where you see right there, and you just press print screen on your keyboard, and it'll take a copy of what's happening there. You go back to your document, and remember I told you this picture is not what you're using. So I'm going to remove this picture and put the picture you need at the very bottom of your document. So after you get done with everything in 2A, hopefully you got far enough, you're going to put this picture here. I just press control V and there it is. So now I can click on it and resize it. So I'm going to click on crop. I showed you how to do this before and I'm going to resize it. It's best if you do it on a computer. If you're trying to do it from a cell phone, it's going to be very difficult. So wait a minute, let me, something go right. Uh, oh, it resized it. That's what happened. It's then crop it. I must have grabbed the wrong line. So you go to this black barrier or border and she'll let you cut it. There it goes. And then we come here. And cut that out. Cut that out. And we're going to cut this top part out. So now that's the document you need, or the image you need. I should say you just click on crop again, and it's the image you are requiring. Okay. So you have to recreate this using the process I just showed you at the end of your Google Doc that you should have made a copy for, okay? Now, watch the video again on how to do it because I want you to do it on your own and use the simulator. Remember, you're going to snapshot or print screen what the uh, potential uh, is doing in terms of the charges and what I just showed you, okay? Uh-oh, some people left. I hope they're coming back. We're not even done yet. All right, so I'm going to set a time for 10 minutes to try to work on it. Hey, welcome back, Eli. My computer had that. Uh... Okay, you back on your computer? Because uh, I just did the simulator. 
Are you able to get that going? Yeah, that's what I was waiting on. I had to wait till it turned back on. Okay. Do you need the link again or no? No, I'm st- it, it it left me when I was left off. I'm, st- I'm still on. Um, oh, okay. So when it rebooted, it came back with your tabs and stuff? Yeah, that thing, it just, like I never left, it just turned off. <laughs> yeah, that's why I said be on the computer, you see. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, take eight minutes to try to recreate the image I made in the simulator and put it at the end of your Google Doc. You need a snapshot. You need to rerun the simulator to get it.
Okay, so let's uh, review the objective and see who's ready to share out. Uh, this is for points, uh, in-class points, I should say. Uh, Dominic, are you there, sir? Yeah, but I'm still trying to, like, get, get my 2A together. Okay, can you read what's on the screen for some points, um, the words and the objective? Yeah. I'm waiting on you. <laughs> All right, which one, where is that located at? Though? Hmm? That's our agenda one? You sound far away. What happened to your microphone? Uh, you hear me? Oh, yeah, I can hear you now. Yep. All right, you, which one is it? Uh, so I wanted you to read the agenda and just the words in the white box in the middle. All right. Uh, today's objective as the damn students will be able to. All right, students will be able to. Oh, fuck that. Hold on. Give me a second, bro. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Today's objective, students will be able to analyze the connection between the electronic fields and the electric uh, electron, oh yeah, electric uh, potential. I'll mm -hmm. be – wait, yeah. I'll be back. Skynet. No, no, no. No, <laughs> no oh, the, the, the classroom term that, – that's a, that's a video clip, you, you know, in there, but – Oh, the the classroom right. term of the day and stuff. That one. <laughs> All right, classroom classroom term of the day is electric potential potential uh, voltage. Word of the day evoke. Very good, thank you, sir. That is twenty points. All right, okay. now I'm gonna come out of here. And uh, you say you're still working on your two A. It is two twenty five. We get out of here effectively two thirty. Uh, this is for in class points, so you can share out tomorrow. But uh, Eli, do you have anything completed? Like, are you able to share right now or no? Are you still working on stuff? Did, did everybody get the simulation that I showed, like, or how to do it? Yeah, I was just trying to uh, put the screenshot on my dog, but I ain't found nobody to do that, so I just sent the screenshot to you. Because you, <laughs> you want us to screenshot it, like, what we did on the... Um, the simulation? Yeah, the simulation. I had right. it on what we did when we moved it. Yeah, okay, okay. All right, well, you... you, you uh, did you put it in the assignment, Eli? Because it's, it's hard to find if it goes in the message. Oh, and I can send it with the assignment. I ain't turn. I ain't yeah, my send it. In there. Okay. Oh, okay yeah, I'll send it with my. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Send it, send it when you get done with the assignment together. <laughs> okay. All right, but y'all right. Right, right now, though. Yeah, I'm about to turn that on so you can get your in-class points. Give me a moment. I gotta turn the share feature back to active. There we go. And then you should be able to share. I'm going to turn mine off. All right, you got the floor. I'm like, I'll just show it to you right here, there, right now. Okay. okay. Nobody start moving. Let me redo it. Oh, okay. Okay. You're getting the hang of it because you know you can make the battery positive or negative on each end. But okay. Turn the battery on so you have it correct. Hit the show battery button. You see that? It's like a little uh, box. Yep. There you go. So it represents the full battery. And you say you couldn't do a print screen? No, I said no. Um, I said I couldn't um put my screenshot on the dock. The dock Why not? I don't know. I was trying to add it on to somebody. So, the, so when you hit the print screen button, what happened? You copied? No, I took the screenshot and all that. I was just trying to put the screenshot right here on my dock. No, no, hold on. Did you do a screenshot or a print screen? I screenshot it. I don't know. I, I screenshot it this. Like, how did, when, when I was doing it. How did, how did you do that, though? How did I screenshot? Yeah. Oh, I pressed the window tab and what's this? Oh, you got an image. It's not a copy paste. All right, so go to your document. I'm trying to help you out real quick. I want to see if you, you can find it real fast. All right, so good. It's right there. Go to insert. Oh, insert. Yeah, Ooh, image. image. <laughs> Upload from computer. Yeah, I'm going to teach you, young man. <laughs> oh, okay. Did you get it? Oh, I see it right there. Oh, I see it. Click too. on it. Open. I can't do it. You gonna get that out your vocabulary? All right, so class is pretty Yee! much. Over. Oh, let me know. Got to let me know. Got to submit it. I can do ah, ah, yeah, I'm trying to help you. Yeah, you think I'm evil? No, I'm not. Uh, but <laughs> make sure you finish all the steps, guys. You need that screenshot, like Eli. Eli, you can click on crop and cut everything out. I'll teach you how to do that later.
but you got the main image, okay? I just all wanted right. you to figure out how to cut out your browser and all your time. I'm trying to show you to make a clean document, you know? So you work on trying to cut the image down to just the battery space, like I did. All right. Uh, that's it. It's 229. I want you to get ready for your fifth period and um, be ready to, like, at least turn it in before 8 so you get full credit. And when you do all this work, even if you didn't finish 2A, Dominic, turn something in, okay? But it, 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 y'all got to get to your next period. So I'll see y'all tomorrow.